Let us quiet our minds as we pray. Holy and loving creator of all that is, we thank you for all that you have created and seeing that it was good. We thank you for creating us, loving us, and letting us know you through your son, Jesus. Lord God, we are thankful for so many blessings and gifts that we receive each day. We are thankful for the country we live in that allows us freedom to gather and worship you each week. And we thank you that as this new season begins, so does an exciting new year of learning opportunities. A time for our children, our grandchildren, nieces and nephews, youths, husbands and wives and partners. It's a time to study and to grow in schools, colleges, universities, co-op programs, seminars, and especially knowing that education is one of the great privileges that we have here. Lord God, we ask your special blessing on each and every one of them. Every age, every ability, every background. We pray that they be filled with self-esteem and resilience. We pray that they will expand in wonder and in celebration, learning not just from the books they study, but also from the people around them. Open and fill minds with a willingness to be changed in unexpected ways. And where needed, settle our thought loops in peaceful places. Bless their hands with patience and dedication as they grip pencils or type on keyboards, swish paintbrushes or clap in song. Grip monkey bars and lunchbox handles, or spin wheelchair twiles, tires, and basketballs. Bless them with a desire to reach out to help welcome and care. Bless their mouths with a keen desire to speak words that bring life and connection. Help them and us to use their voices to honor the dignity and the belovedness of all. Remind us to open our mouths for deep belly laughs and breaths when we are feeling anxious or afraid. Bless their feet with a real desire to move forward towards those who are different from us and help others in safe ways. To walk next to those who feel alone. To walk confidently through the hallways knowing that you are always with them. Bless their eyes, eyes that look towards those who are forgotten or struggling, eyes that see others with compassion. Bless what and how they see, whether they are looking at a screen, a whiteboard, or the beauty of a person's face. We pray that they learn to see from all kinds of angles. Bless their ears, Lord, as they genuinely learn to listen to all voices, especially those that haven't been listened to much. And when things get noisy, help them to listen carefully for your voice. Lord God, bless all the children, the youth and the adults who carry the backpacks that were blessed today, the briefcases, the handbags, the electronic devices. Bless the computers and the tablets and the cell phones. And we pray, Lord, that they be used as learning tools and that they do not become distractions or idols in our hands. Father, wrap parents with your reassuring love that as they entrust their children to you, we pray too that when questions remain unanswered and the realm of control 
is finite. Bless them with the peace and the promise that you are right there with their child, whether they are heading to preschool or driving to college. We pray for the teachers and the staff in our education system. Bless these faithful servants with courage and confidence, knowing that you are in their classroom with a steady hand on their shoulders. Give them peace and patience and balance in the pressures that they face and bravery to build structures and systems that justly serve all your children. Give them delight in the young ones before them and a recognition of the sweet ways that children are also teachers. O oh God, for all of our students and teachers and workers in our educational system, we pray for health and wholeness, fun and growth, surprise and amazement for this school year ahead. Father, you know the heavy hearts that we have for people around your world who are suffering. And we pray that someone will be able to reach out to them and show them your love and caring. We pray for all of those who are grieving the loss of a loved one, including our royal family. We pray for all of the needs and the concerns of our church family, our own families, and all of those in our community. And Father, we pray that they all know that you are with them, even in their darkest and most difficult times. And may they feel your blessing and healing hand physically upon them. Almighty God, thank you for your all-seeing eyes, your listening ears, the voice of your spirit, the breath of life, and the gift that we can walk confidently in your love. And may our gifts be acceptable in your sight. Bless them and grow them to be used to further the love and the caring amongst your children here and around the world. And may all blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and strength be unto you, our God, forever and ever, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.